Tanisha from Roeville Library and I'm joining you today as part of Eastern Regional Library's Sustainable Festive Season. Today I'll be showing you how to make some festive decorations out of citrus fruits. So I've got a grapefruit, an orange and a lemon. You pick any citrus fruits you want. Uh, you can also pick blood oranges, um, limes, anything you'd like. And the idea of having different fruits will give it a variety of colours and shapes. So let's get started. So today we'll be drying these fruits in a regular oven, but you can also use a dehydrator if you have one available. So to start with, we'll need a chopping board and a knife. And we're just going to cut these about a quarter of an inch thick. And you want to make sure they're even, so you should be able to get quite a few slices from each. Now that I've cut these um, across the oranges and the lemons, you can actually see the beautiful star shapes in the middle. And that's actually gonna look amazing uh, once they're dried and ready to decorate. I'm gonna get them ready for the oven now. We'll dry them for approximately six hours. Spread the citrus slices evenly over a metal pulling rack and place the rack over a lined tray. I'm using reusable silicon baking mats. We can also use baking paper. Place the tray in the oven and let them dry for four to six hours, turning the tray every couple of hours for even drying. They will be visibly dry once they are ready to come out. Remove them from the oven and allow them to cool. Once they have cooled, you can check if they are dry enough by simply pressing on them. If they are still sticky or moist, place them back in the oven for one hour at a time. All right, so our fruit's been dried and we're ready to get started with it. So today we'll be making some simple decorations you can use to hang on the tree and also a garland that can be hung up on a wall anywhere in your house. So all you'll need for the tree decorations is some twine and the citrus fruits. So grab a piece of twine, about 30 centimetres long. You're going to meet the ends and tie it in a knot. So that gives us a nice loop. So we're gonna grab the fruit and create a hole at the top of it. And you can do this using your nails, like you can use a knife or a pair of scissors. Then we'll grab the loop. I'm gonna thread it through the hole in the citrus fruit. Grab the twine, thread it through one side through the hoop itself and pull it up, pull it tight. So it looks like this. And you can hang that over a branch in your tree or anywhere else in your house and that's ready to go. For the garland, we're going to actually grab a much larger piece of string. So you do this as long as you want. I've only got about five pieces of fruit here, so mine won't be very long. Alright, we're then going to grab our string and create a hole in our first piece of fruit and thread it through. We get it to about there and then I'm going to create tie a knot where it is. Got our first piece of fruit. Grab our second one. I'm going to have to start on the other end for this one. Weave it all the way through. So here I'm going to tie a knot in that one as well. So it's up to you how large of a gap you'd like to leave between your fruit. And there we go. So we'll keep going along in that fashion. And I'm doing two knots for each piece of fruit just to keep it nice, secure and in place. There you have it. We've got a beautiful fruit garland. You can hang on the tree, we can hang it directly on the wall. It looks beautiful on a white background. Thank you for joining me today to learn how to make citrus decorations for your tree and your house. Wishing you a very happy and safe festive season. Thank you for watching. Bye now.